and this journey, which is why I'm sharing with you guys, because hopefully it inspires someone out there because it took me three and a half years. I failed 11 times in a row, 26 attempts, about $7,000 spent in exam fees. I recently became a licensed architect, and I'm here to share the journey with you guys, how I accomplished such a big task in hopes that I inspire someone out there that's going through a really tough time trying to accomplish their goal. The goal of becoming a licensed architect was one of mine for about the last 10 years of my life, and it's finally been achieved, but it did not happen overnight. If it inspires just one person out there, I'd appreciate it just hitting the like, subscribe button, show some love to the channel. The way this video is structured is that I'm first going to begin with what it takes to become a licensed architect, some brief requirements. Second, I'm going to give you a little background on myself, the actual exam process it was for me, and then I'm also going to go over how to pass these exams because it took me quite some time, but I know a thing or two. And then after I explain how to pass these exams, I'm going to explain my failures along the way in this whole journey because that's where the real nitty gritty and the lessons were learned. And I hope you guys stay tuned for that. To become a licensed architect, you have to graduate from an accredited college, record over 3,800 intern hours, and then pass six exams issued by the state. You have a five-year window how to pass these exams. You get a total of three attempts per year. So in five years, you have to pass six exams. It actually took me a total of 26 attempts to pass. I failed 20 times. At one point, I even considered switching career paths. It was probably the most hard thing I've had to do my entire life. So a little background on me. I went to Florida Atlantic University. I graduated and immediately, I started working on my intern hours throughout school. Certain states allow you to work through your intern hours. So I was working on an internship since I was 18. By the time I graduated, my intern hours were complete. I no longer needed to do intern hours on top of school. I basically killed two birds with one stone. So after I graduated, my intern hours were recorded. It was now time to take these exams. And this is where it gets fun. I started taking my exam. I failed the first time, failed the second time, failed the third time, and I failed the fourth time in a row. So I failed four times in a row. And at this point in my life, I'm thinking, this is not for me. This is not what I need to be doing. I need to like a new job. Like, this is this is it like i'm screwed like what else what else can i possibly do no yeah you know everything's fine hey listen i quit what i did is i took a step back to get the first pass and i really doubled down on my studying audiobooks every the whole freaking nine yards basically get my mind right studying a lot we go into it we're gonna pass the exam for number five lucky five and guess what we pass <laughs> so we passed the fifth attempt i'm basically on top of the world and i'm like okay this is like somewhat doable now i got five five to go one down what's next we got the next exam like the next week or so i take that one i pass <laughs> boom two out of six i'm basically like i'm already an architect like i can build like the skyscraper of like dubai or something like that. i'm i can do anything at this point so we go for number three boom pass just told you who i thought i was a god i just told you three out of the six i'm basically like i'm downhill from here it's all done we're, we're halfway over the mountain, like literally like the mountains here, we're like here. We are there. Boom. This is going to be cake. Take some time to study and then the reality set in. After passing three in a row, I fail. I fail again, fail again, 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 again. I fail 11 times straight. Now what you're asking is like, first of all, how dumb are you? Second of all, how crazy are you? Third of all, why would you even keep doing it at this point? You have three down at this point. Let's let's backtrack for a second. I have three exams passed. I have three to go. I keep failing and failing and failing and failing. And what I what what made me get through those tough times was that if there's three exams left, I'm already three down. I need to pass one, just one, not three. Just one. If I just pass one more of these exams, I know in my mind I can do it. I can do it. It's possible. This is not insanity. After 11 tries, I eventually passed. And it was at that point was a turning moment in my life because I realized this, this can be done. Like this can really be done. You know, this is not just some joke or whatnot. So now at this point, I have four down, two to go, and the last two are the hardest exams ever of the bunch. And at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you're just, you're, you're on go mode. And after I pass that fourth exam, you already know what's gonna happen next. I fail, I failed again, I think I failed again, and then I passed. <laughs> now we're at five out of six. It's been like three years it's all a blur like how long i've been studying doing all this stuff i don't even know how i passed that last exam it was i think i just i i pulled it off but yeah at this point it's one left and you're starting to like at this point it's just downhill like you you can do it like turning point was when i passed that fourth exam so eventually yes i failed again i failed again and then i passed <laughs> so i just recently passed guys so give me a congratulate i you know whatever yay woo. so yeah eventually i passed and waking up to seeing the pass is it was uh yeah, you, you wake up after after doing something for three and a half years studying and like you have a routine and all of a sudden you wake up and it's just, it's over. 
you, like you made it you just you're overcome with emotion i woke up and i just was like crying because like i never thought the day would come i always thought the day would come but i never expected how it would come like i always like i always like all right this is gonna happen but like when and i always envisioned it differently but the way that it went down the journey because in my head i thought it was a straight shot but it was really like up down up up, up down i mean i never thought it would take you know this long to do and it, it was a really a really life-changing moment for me like like no 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 bs no none of this stuff i mean like it really changed my life and it, it was it's a day i'll never forget in my entire life and this journey which is why i'm sharing with you guys because hopefully it inspires someone out there because it took me three and a half years i failed 11 times in a row basically how to pass this exam is you got to figure out a learning style that works best for you some people are better readers some people are better visual and once you are self-aware and you understand what clicks in your brain of how you're able to adapt then you got to double down on that so for example i was really bad at reading and studying for long periods of time so what i did was i broke up my studying in little segments throughout the day i would study in the morning i would study at lunch and then in the evening but basically i would study for like little bursts like 30 to an hour here and there instead of like four hours at once but that's a work for me and i and once i realized how my studying style was i was able to accommodate and adjust accordingly another really key thing on how to pass exams and this goes for this exam or any exam is practice 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 you got to practice so much that it's almost like natural to be taking these exams and studying and so forth so you basically mimic the testing environment so that when it comes to testing it's like second nature after i failed the first four times those were the toughest ones but the 11 fails back to back i didn't even realize until i just recently checked but 11 fails back to back how i got through that this is the key thing here in this whole video on how i did this like this is really important i hope you guys listen to this six exams how do we break it down one exam at a time one brick at a time one step at a time I knew that after I passed the first three exams, in order for me to pass the other three exams after 11 fails was I needed to pass one exam, not two, not three, one, just pass one, focus on one exam, not three, because that's what I was doing. And if you pass that one exam, then you do one more. Sometimes we see a goal that is so massive, if we just break it down and reverse engineer it, it can really not seem as scary. That's what worked for me as you guys can see, and I encourage you guys to try it out with your big goals. So what's next? I don't even know what's next. And I'm a light, now that I'm a licensed architect, the state of Florida issued me my number. I'm the real deal now. I'm a considered a professional thing. And here's the cool thing about all this stuff is that no matter whatever happens, like you can't take that away from me. And it's made me a better human being spiritually mentally like i'm i'm only 27 i'm only 27 can you guys imagine where i'm gonna be at in 37 when you do something like this that's so lifelong and so hard to do and then when you finally accomplish it the the confidence is not cockiness it's confidence it's like i i feel like i'm ready to conquer the world if this video was helpful in any way whatsoever if it inspires you just drop a comment like let me know how you're doing if you're going through the exam process reach out to me i got some ins and outs you know what i'm saying but we can't do we gotta we gotta abide by the uh we gotta abide by the n-carb guidelines so and make sure you guys hit that like subscribe button show some love to the channel but see you next episode peace